LeBron James injury, NBA Insider provides latest medical update on Lakers star. That's according to Yahoo Sports NBA Insider Shams Charania. LeBron got hurt on Christmas Day as the Lakers earned the surprise win at the Golden State Warriors and was forced to limp off in the third quarter. He has missed all of LA's 10 games since with the Lakers going 3-7 and suffering shock losses to the New York Knicks and LeBron's former team, the Cleveland Cavaliers, two of the worst teams in the league. The Lakers said last week that LeBron will be re-evaluated again on January 16 ahead of a visit to the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is now the longest spell on the sidelines in the 34-year-old's entire 16-year career and he has never missed more than 13 games in his previous 15 regular seasons. Head coach Luke Walton revealed on Monday, he got treatment and shots yesterday, he got treatment and shots today. I don't know if he ran today. He tells me he feels good. But Gerania insists LeBron who has reached the NBA Finals in all of the last eight seasons and played all 82 of the Cavs games last year and has thus had limited rest, will take his time to come back when he feels 100%. Speaking to the territory on U.S. Network Stadium, Chirania said, I spoke to LeBron James agent Rich Paul this morning and he told me that when LeBron is ready, he will return to play. At best they were given a three-week timetable on his injury when he first suffered the injury on Christmas Day. Three weeks is Tuesday, he will be re-evaluated on Wednesday. But the way Rich Paul said is he's going to return when he's ready to return and it if takes longer, it takes longer. Essentially, when LeBron James feels ready, when he feels good, when that groin is finally 100%, he will return. Groin injuries, like hamstrings are difficult. The Lakers obviously need LeBron James on the floor and for the Lakers, Rob Palenka, Magic Johnson, this is giving them an opportunity to see what they really have. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, they've lost 7 of 10 games. The results haven't been pretty. You expected the young group to show a little bit more. They've lost to the Cavaliers and the Knicks, two teams on big losing streaks. The Knicks 8 in a row and the Cavs 13 in a row. When you lose games like this when you're not coming out with energy or passion, that's a negative sign for that young core that you have. Kyle Kuzma will always score but it's on guys like Ingram, Lunzo to bring the energy.